Token sale. Six criterion analysis for the selection of ICO. One of the ways to raise capital for a startup is a crowdfunding campaign. With the development of the internet, the method has become a popular alternative to the usual stock investment. First of all, thanks to platforms such as Indiegogo and Kickstarter. In the crypto community, the attraction of people's money has also gained great popularity. Every day, dozens of ICOs start in the world. The principle of crowdfunding are simple. You describe in detail the business idea of your product, its capabilities and prospects. Describe the token that will be used on your platform. Next, you declare the rounds of pre-sale and open sale on dates. Price corridors may vary here, but the common principle is the earlier you buy tokens, the cheaper you get it. Finally, you announce trading platforms that have already agreed to support your token or on which you are going to be placed on. Token sale, six criteria analysis for the selection of ICO, how not to become a victim of scams. Token sale as an idea is a great way of raising capital, built on the principle of every little bit helps. Crowdfunding through the initial placement of coins attract tens of millions of dollars to blockchain startups. Of course, this type of market cannot waive fraud. The first ICO in history happened in 2013. It was the placement of tokens for Mastercoin project, which gained $5 million. And only in the middle of 2017, the Commission on Securities and Stock Exchanges of the USA has explained the investors the high risk associated with initial placement of tokens. And to regulate and legalize crowdfunding campaigns, the US government and South Korea began only this year. But while the law has not yet been written for newly organized blockchain startups, the market of primary placement will remain at high risk. To avoid becoming a victim of fraud, you have to use analysis tools and logic. You can check the fair play of ICO using six universal criteria. First one is team. The project team is the driving force behind the startup. The human factor is inexorable and even more so in campaigns involving tens of millions of dollars. Check team members, see their profiles on LinkedIn social network with their resume. A frequent trick of scammers is attracting celebrities to the promotion of the project. Sometimes they change their names and celebrities know about it after the fact of happening. For example, the organizers of the Miroski ICO project used photos of the American actor Ryan Gosling as a fictional graphic designer of the organization. Next is key element. What does the team offer? What is the essence of their business idea? Is it possible to implement the idea of the project? It is worth checking what the team has been doing before, whether the startup participants meet the stated position. The rule of this criteria, if the idea of the project is not impressive, you should look for something else. Next is the structure of the ICO. According to the rules of initial placement, part of the tokens remain with the founders of the project. Typically, it is something about 25% of coins issued. If the project has too many founders and token holders, you should be very careful. Also, you should pay attention to hard cap and soft cap. The first term is the upper limit of the amount required for the team to implement the plans to life. The second definition is a lower barrier, a slower way to get what they have come up with. The rule of the structure works this way. The collected funds should not exceed the upper limit, but should reach soft cap. If the project has already attracted much more than planned, there is a risk of further drawdown of the token rate. Social network. Check for a project wherever it's possible, in particular on Reddit. Read the comments, forums, analyze each statement. This is very important. If you have missed something in your own analysis, the other users may have noticed the scam and reported it, but in any case, Trust only reason statement. Reviews and analysis. Continuation of the previous criterion. What do experts say? What feedback does the community give about the project? Beware, not only ordinary users write in social network and forums. Entire crypto community in Telegram and on YouTube check the ICO for its fair play. News and updates. Check the news and press releases of the project on large and reputable source dedicated to cryptocurrencies.
This criterion cuts the most part of an outright scam project, because serious publications value their reputation. Study the feedback of the project and see who publishes their updates, and only then you'll be able to come to the correct conclusion. White paper. The very essence of the project. Description of the idea, technology and promotion from A to Z. Of course, the white paper is worth reading, carefully studying each chapter. The main rule, the project should be aimed at solving real issues and providing real solutions. No admissions or assumptions, only a real task. Meanwhile, according to ICO rating data, for the first quarter of this year, 3.3 billion was attracted through the initial proposal of coins. In comparison, 6.1 billion was collected last year by similar attraction. Following one successful ICO, hundreds of less attractive projects appear. Millions of dollars in the pre-sale is a dream. According to the agency, only half of the projects attract more than $100,000. After regulation and legalization, the ICO will gain a second wave of popularity. Along with the promotion of cryptocurrencies in crowdfunding campaigns, more people will be able to participate. And this means that everything is just beginning for the ICO market.